Good morning, guys. It is Monday, January 8th, 2024. This is Bathrobe Business. I'm George Yoganoff. Let's jump into the news. So for the most part, it's a pretty quiet news day. Um, I don't have too much to share that has greater implications on the market. Just a few stories I think uh, have some interesting facets to them. Uh, first, let's start with the market itself. The Dow is down 135 points right now in the pre-market. S&P is down 0.75. Uh, NASDAQ is down 21 points. Oil is still at 71 uh, it currently it's at 71.41, but it's still in that 71 to 74 dollar range. The interesting thing with gold is it's finally, finally fell below the 2040 dollar mark. As uh, most traders are awaiting uh, news on inflation coming this Thursday, at least that's the the going story. Uh, but this is a major thing because as we've been tracking gold the last number of weeks, it's been above that 2040 dollar threshold, and as I've said before, if gold is above $2,000, it's usually not a good sign for the economy. Now, inflation can skew that number a little bit, but I would still stick to the rule that if gold is above $2,000 an ounce, something unhealthy is happening in the economy. Inflation is running high, uh, the economy is weak, et cetera, et cetera. So it's still above the $2,000 mark, but it is below the $2,040 benchmark that it seemed to have set a number of years ago, uh, weeks ago, and stayed there. So that's good news. Next story. So uh, minor story, largest U.S. Uh, radio company, Audacity, files for bankruptcy. Uh, they're going to slash their debt by 80% from 350 million down, uh, sorry, from 1.9 billion down to 350 million. Uh, so not a huge story, but they are the largest radio broadcaster in the United States. Slumping ad sales for obvious reasons, they are filing for bankruptcy. Uh, the, the craziest story of the day is, of course, Boeing. Uh, Boeing shares are literally in free fall because uh, their doors keep falling off their planes. So I don't know if you saw this video, it was all over uh, like TikTok, Instagram, uh, Facebook. It midair, the plane door flies off, and so they have to do an emergency landing with this plane with just an open door. I didn't even know that was possible. Uh, so Boeing continues to amaze and build planes that are so rickety, they seem to defy, defy the laws of physics. So uh, for no obvious reason, their stock is in free fall. So that is not to be surprised. Uh, next story is about NVIDIA. So this is the story that on its surface doesn't have a lot of information, but in the subtext it does. So NVIDIA is going to launch a China-based AI chip for the second quarter of 2024. So March, March, uh, April, March, around that time, they're going to launch, launch this chip. So why this is important, they can't produce the same chips we have here in the United States because of new regulations that came out in October. So this is, again, more protectionist, more anti-globalist uh, sentiments that are coming out of Every administration it seems to be starting back to the Trump administration, but even really to the Obama administration. We seem to be moving more and more into a protectionist and uh, local based economy, moving more and more manufacturing domestically, keeping a lot of the good stuff for ourselves and just giving China some of the minor manufacturing. Uh, this isn't a surprise, uh, given the tension between the two countries seems to be growing day by day, but this really underscores it in the fact that China can't just buy our chips at scale. They're going to buy a downgraded version of our AI chips. So that's a, that's a pretty major story that uh, a couple uh, a couple administrations ago that was unimaginable, but uh, now it seems to be the the par for the course that no matter what, China is going to be getting lesser and lesser U.S. trade. And when it does, it's going to be in a much more downgraded sense. Uh, I don't have strong opinions on this quite yet. Um, I will see how these stories develop. I don't know how I feel about them yet. But I think it's definitely a sign that every time something new comes out, there's going to be more and more tension building between the U.S. and China. Uh, last story of the day, not again anything major, but it's uh, essentially called, um, what is the term, uh, blackout debt or... Uh, what is the term? One second. They used a funny term for this. It's phantom debt. So phantom debt is on the rise. This is being played as a major story, and I think it's actually a great story. So it's essentially buy now, pay later programs. So companies like Affirm, Afterpay, Klarna. I've never used these uh, services, and I'm considering after reading this uh, this story. So the, the debt of these uh, little uh, companies is on the rise as credit card debt seems to be at a sky-high rate. So most credit cards' interest rates being in the double digits, 
high double digits, around 20%. A lot of these companies are offering low interest rates alternatives, buy now, pay later, essentially layaway programs. So these are on the rise. They're up 14% for last year, and I think it's fantastic. I think it's the way the market adapts. I think we've uh, become a, a economy that's very much based on e-commerce, and I think it's a great e-commerce uh, platform that is rising up as an alternative to traditional payments. Um, so I think it's a great story. Uh, I highly support it. They're painting it as a bad thing, as if there's something wrong in the market, but I think this is just the market adapting to avoid high interest rates. Why would you pay 20% when on some of their purchases, if you go to affirm.com, I'm on there right now, you get 0% APR on a purchase. So like you can get mattresses at 0% APR, Neiman, Neiman Market 0% APR, Dick Sporting at 0% APR. Why would you not take advantage of that and instead pay a credit card company 20% for that same purchase? So I think that's a great story. I think that's another good reason of why high interest rates are good because the market will be forced to adapt. Uh, that's pretty much it. Like I said, a very slow news day. I don't think there's much going on. Uh, I'm going to get to work, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys have a healthy, productive day. Bye.